Hi, I'm Lou Perosi, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a lidded jar. So we're going to make the main body of the form, and then I'll go ahead and I'll start the lid. Okay? So I'm starting here with nine pounds of clay. So we'll go ahead and get that centered. All right. Get a little bit of water, and I'm working with porcelain. We'll just kind of get this. Usually, I like to do a little bit of wheel wedging here, so we bring this up. All right, bring it up. Drive it down. And I usually like to do this two or three times. And I like to get the use a lot of water for this. Makes it getting driving it up and down a little bit easier. All right. And I'm thinking about making a nice, nice wide jar, like a, like a good sized cookie jar. I think that'll be really nice, okay? All right, so now that we've got it pretty, pretty, uh, pretty centered, now we'll go through the process of starting to make it. I want it a little wide, but I still think I want to taper this in just a little bit. All right, now that I've got this, I'm going to go ahead and start with my uh, cylinder shape. Switch those hands. All right, and then slowly begin to bring this up, okay, just like that. And I want to do a good job of compressing the bottom, especially with it being uh, porcelain. You know, I don't want to get any S cracks down below there. All right, we'll bring it up again. And I always like to get rid of any excess clay that's on the bottom here. That way I can get my hand down here and then be able to bring up all the clay. Do another pulse. All right. Again, I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of all that extra stuff on the bottom. And now I think I could start to blow this shape out just a little bit. It's going to be a really big jar. Um, now, before I blow this out, I really like to get this top set. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. And so I just like to take my thumb and kind of push it in just a little bit and get a little recess going. And I hope you can see that at home. And I just squeeze, I take this like this, okay, and I start to push that out like that. Okay, you guys see that? All right. So now that I got this, and this will be good. This will be good if you're grabbing cookies, right? You put it right in there nice. All right, so let's blow this out. Now porcelain traditionally doesn't like a good bulbous shape. But that's okay, we can always do a little trimming later if the weight kind of starts to be getting to sag down. All right, we'll get the water out of the bottom. And now we'll just kind of blow that shape out. So I'm gonna take my inside hand and simply sweep it. It's nice and thin down there, so that's good. And just start to blow it out. We'll do it again. I'm gonna hold that, try to get make sure that's nice and perfect, okay? All right, now we're gonna do it again. We're gonna sweep it on the inside.
And now this is where I like to take the metal rib, the big S12, and sort of just go over this shape. And I'm thinking about trying to have very much a circle shape here. Okay, so trapped within this space. I want a nice circle and I could just take this. And I'll trim this up a little bit. Nice little trim would be good. That's a good shape for now. All right. And again, I'll give it that bulbous look. All right. So before we do anything, I want to measure something, okay? I want to get a nice reset lid in there, okay, so where the flange sort of drops into this and kind of hangs on this shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a set my set of kelpers and I'm going to do a basic measurement of this top area, okay, and I usually like to do it on the inside. Now everybody's got different ways to do lids, but here's one way. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this, okay, and sometimes it's, it is good to double check, make sure it's on all sides you get this. All right, it's gonna be a nice snug fit. All right, perfect. Okay, so now that we got that, I wanna get rid of all this, get rid of all this extra gobbly goop down here. This is how I like to clean the bat head. That way you don't have to clean it up later. And then, go ahead and cut it. Get these. Give that a little bit of a cut. Okay. So that's the first part. Now we're going to go ahead and we will... Oh. Got to make sure it doesn't flop too much. It flops a little bit, but that's okay. I'll put my next bat on. And this will be for the lid. Okay, and I'll show you how to do this. Again, there's a lot of different ways to make lids. I'm going to show you one way that I like. It will include trimming a little bit later. All right, and we want, it, we want our set of kelpers. We just double check, make sure everything is fits. Yep, perfect. Okay, so this will be the size of it. Now I'm going to just take this. Again, I'm going to put this down. And I'm trying to make sort of like a, a pyramid top almost, okay? Like a little, little pitched top. There's a lot of different ways I could cap it off as well, but I like the idea of that pitched top. And so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to just get in there. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna take my set of kelpers just to get a rough ballpark idea of where the outside of that flange needs to be, okay? So, now that we've got this, I can go ahead and I pitch this up, and now I'm gonna make my opening. All right, and here's how I make the top.